What's up and welcome to this video. In this video, I will be showing you my KVD67 light build. By the way, a review will be coming soon on this board. So with no further delay, let's get right into it. So like I said earlier, the case for this build will be the KVD67 light by KVD fans. I got mine from Divinity in the translucent colorway for about 20 bucks. The KVD67 light has 5 pin hot swap, south facing LEDs, and per key RGB. It also comes with a very crappy phone cord like coiled cable, a stock polycarbonate plate, a silicone dampening pad, and KVD fans own stabs, which actually look a lot like the Durag V2s. I lubed these stabs with Crytox 205 grade 0, and that alone pretty much did the trick. In my opinion, these stabs are actually very high quality and might be in the same league as Drog V2s or C3 stabs. Now for the mods. I added Noiko Cars Detonator and I think that it did the trick. As well as that, I left out all of the standoffs and I do think it made a bouncier typing experience and the board is still very secure. I also did the Tempest Tape mod, which in my opinion is the best mod you can do to make your board sound better aside from lubing and filming your switches and modding your stabs. Speaking of the switches, I went with the lavender switches from Canon Keys. I went ahead and lubed these with Crytox 205 grade 0 and filmed these with Desk Keys switch films. Here's a comparison between stock and modded. And just real quick to point something out, since the position of a switch alters the sound, I'll be testing in the Z position. Time for the keycaps. You sort of got a glimpse of them during the sound comparison, but I'll tell you anyway. They are the HK Gaming Die Sub PBT Cherry Profile keycaps in the Stealth Dolch colorway. These keycaps are very nice, and a full review will be out soon. Now for the last thing to tie this build together. I picked up this Tez coiled cable from Amazon. It is very nice quality, and I really like it with the board. Now it's time for what you've all been waiting for. The sound test.
So in conclusion, I really love this build and would definitely recommend the KVD 67 Lite to anyone who wants a quality and cheap build. Well, if you consider how expensive keyboards can get. But that's it for now guys, peace out.